So the big overview, and we'll close. After Christ's victory at the cross, Satan's man of sin, as Paul describes him, or the little horn power, as Daniel describes him, wages a war against God's people by attacking the truth about God. This evil power advances his assault on God's character by changing people's perception of God's law. It replaces the truth of God's design law with the idea that God's law is like human law, simply a system of rules. This little horn power, man of sin, thereby sets himself up in God's temple, proclaiming himself to be God. God is an imperial dictator. We need to have something done or else he'll kill us. This is Satan's view. Satan is now reigning in the minds of people by getting humans to conceive of God this way. He's an imposer. He's a fraud. This little horn power is winning the war of ideas by filling our hearts and minds with this imperial dictator view of God until the Ancient of Days comes, Daniel 7.22, and gives discernment or judgment to the saints where we can see the difference now. God, looking down the corridors of time, tells his friend Daniel it's going to be 490 years remaining for the Jewish people to be the avenue for the Messiah. In the middle of the last week of their mission, the Messiah will come and end the ceremonial system. He'll provide the remedy for human salvation. But a little horn power will arise after Christ's victory at the cross and will wage war with the saints until the message goes forward, at the, uh, a message from God proclaiming to the world, be in awe of God. Fear God, give him glory. Be in awe of God, for the time has come in human history for people to make a right judgment about God. Fear God and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment has come. The hour when we can judge rightly what God is like and reject this imperial dictator thing. To worship the designer, the creator, him who made the heavens, the earth, the sea, and all that in them is. The three angels' message is a specific message and it's designed to turn the minds of people away from this imperial dictator lie about God that has infected the spirit temple based on imperial Roman law and turn our minds back to the creator God whose laws are design laws and free us from this distortion so that we can entrust, open our hearts and receive the Holy Spirit to be transformed, healed, cleansed and have our soul temples cleansed, thus cleansing the temple and preparing us to meet God face to face.